Okay, uh, so working on the uh, <clears throat> the uh, wing cabane struts, the fuselage to wing strut, that would be this configuration. Now on the uh, on the model, it's simplified. It's just this end strut with one piece on each side of the air of the fuselage. However, on the Gilmore, they've added a couple of struts. So if we look at this drawing, and I'm not sure how good the lighting is here, uh, this is the uh, left strut pair, the left end strut, and this is the right end strut. In other words, it's one pair on one side uh, and one pair, one set of this on the other. But with the uh, Gilmore airplane, um, and I don't know if it's Roscoe Turner who added it or if it was <coughs> just omitted from this model, but uh, there's actually additional struts fore and aft. So these struts are actually a V, uh, an inverted V, um, and not, not sticking out forward, but uh, parallel on the inside. Uh, I don't know if I'm describing this correctly. I guess you'll see it when I build it. But at any rate, um, so instead of, of each of these struts having uh, one vertical piece at the front and, and rear, it'll have two vertical pieces here and two vertical pieces here that are an inverted V uh, with the peak at the wing and, and the two legs attaching to the fuselage, one here and one probably here on each side. But what I'm going to do, I think, is um, build these using the airfoil aluminum, but make the two uh, interior legs, the V part of each of the vertical struts, I'm, I think I'll do with balsa. And uh, I'll just shape it in an airfoil shape and seal it and, and paint it to match the aluminum. Actually, it's body color, it's not aluminum color, so I don't have to worry about that either. Right, so um, as it sits now, that's how I think I'm going to go about this. Um, the end cabane will be made with the aluminum airfoil, with the extra struts uh, being made of balsa strip stock in the same width, and then sanded to the airfoil shape. Right, so that uh, we can begin to fabricate. I've already drilled out the initial holes here and here. As you can see, uh, here's the side keel. So they are at uh, one, two, three stringers up, one, two, three, and just in front of the number two and number three bulkheads. So here and here on each side. Okay, so we'll start working on those. Uh, Cabanes. If I'm having difficulty cutting the aluminum or, or getting them the pieces to fit cleanly, um, then I'll probably just revert back and do everything with balsa. Um, right. So that's where we are uh, currently. The wing is pretty clean. I've sanded it and gotten it pretty smooth. Um, we still need to do one more layer, I think, of the spackle paste. You can see there's just, just maybe a little here and there, just a few spots that are a little uneven still that need to be filled. But we're working away on it. And uh, I figured I could uh, get started on the cabanes and then come back and work on the wing and still have the engine and it's still a lot of work to do still have to finish up these engines um, I've got one of the plug wires in and I don't know how this looks to you I was gonna use this red wire now uh, this stuff and you can see that's the number one cylinder there so I think I'm gonna leave those red I was gonna install them and then paint uh, the cylinders mask off the crankcase and just paint the cylinders and, and plug wires and everything else black um, but the more I think of it I kind of I almost want to well I'm 
going to have to paint it. I, I almost don't want to. just want to leave it like this. But there's a little bit of an issue with that, with some of the shine. And and again, you know, the, the semi-gloss clear coat would take care of some of that too. So I'm still still debating in my what's left of my mind um, to see... Now I'm thinking about whether or not I'm going to mask and paint that or just leave it. I'm, I'm leaning towards painting it, but I think I'll pull the wire and uh, and then install the wires in red. It'll kind of go along with the rest of the red over white motif um, paint scheme. All right, anyway, just uh, spitballing again. Uh, this is where we are working away. Um, I'll post some more videos soon. Thank you.